I'm at the Steve Martin Gallery. It's Gallery Walk in January, January the 12th. Steve, what's going on here? I'm in heaven. <laughs> this is great. We've got a lot of people in. Shirley's working in the crowd. We've got uh, people from all over the world coming in for a season in Miami. And we'd like to welcome you all to uh, to the design industry. What's the, been the response to the people who are coming in? What do they think of the art? They're actually liking the artwork from Matias Langoria, the new artwork that we're showcasing this month. And Steve, the, the, the art changes here? Every, every month we put up a new show. We do a second Saturday art walk uh, on the second Saturday of every month. <laughs> and uh, we change the shows for that month and then we showcase it tonight. And, you know, now Steve Martin Gallery features artists from certain areas? We used to feature mostly artists from New Orleans uh, to represent uh, that Gulf Coast region here in, in Florida. But what's happened is as we've grown in, in recognition, we're starting to get artists from all over the world. Uh, Matias, uh, the show that we have up now, was born in Monterey, Mexico, but lives in Florida. Um, so uh, we've got a very international crowd that's, that's coming in. Invite the people down. Yes. Give them the address. This is uh, Steve Martin Studio in the Miami Design District, 66 Northeast 40th Street. Thank you very much for your time. Both of you. Yeah, I'm at Steve Martin Gallery. The featured artist tonight is? Matias Longoria. Matias Longoria. Right. Matias, where are you from? I'm originally from Mexico, Monterey, Mexico. I grew up in Galveston, Texas, and now I live in Pensacola, Florida. This painting is Dawn on the Dead on the... Yeah. Talking in the back. Okay. Now this painting represents a venture of two people that are trying to capitalize on nature. As you see there, the river itself comes from Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness. And they're trying, these two people are trying to exploit nature and they have a plan. And like all good plans, something goes wrong. And this is what the painting's about. The people are symbolic of just people in life? Just people in life that try to get to get in a uh, union to exploit nature. Rather scary life. Well, it is. Now you can see they're both in cahoots because she is also like very much part of the scheme. And she's uh, an active woman that is carrying a gun and that's his fate is using live chickens. Now it's against the law in Florida to give chickens to alligators, but I've done it before. And what else do we have in the room? Let's go to another case. This is called the rapture. Okay. This is called the rapture? The rapture. Now, in the Bible, there is absolutely no... There's a reference to the rapture. And on day, there will be a judgment day, and everybody will stop, fall over, and descend into heaven and be with God, but they'll be naked. This is what's happening. This person right here has fallen, and the media has got wind of it, and is covering it. Little do they know that the rapture is going on. The entire significance of this painting is going on in the background. And these people are going up into the heavens. But life goes on. Now these people right here symbolize all the the people that hated this man and are now come back to laugh at his death. And you see, they've thrown on a festival here and everybody's just in a festive mood. His wife here is showing concern and has no idea really what's going on. It's a tribute to Harry Houdini. Like all great, like all great artists, we have to create an illusion. And one of the things is dramatic illusions that and, uh, a magician will do is to, to cheat death. Okay? So here he is in a situation with his trusty assistant, beautiful, to distract you at the right time. And he is in the process of performing this tremendous and dramatic scene. And everybody knows it's quite impossible. The audience here, once again, this part of the picture, some people are wanting this, this dramatic situation, are wanting him to fail, and other people are transfixed and hoping that he'll achieve it. And at the end, of course, 
he does get out and life goes on and it's beautiful. We have achieved some kind of catharsis when a magician cheats death. If people wanted more information about you and your art, do you have a website? Steve Martin Gallery. Get in touch with him, he'll direct you and that'll be it. Thank He's you. my representative. Have a great time in Miami. Thank you much.